Hey guys, my name is Nate and welcome to this week's devlog where we'll take a deep dive into the inventory systems of Riverwood. Hello guys and welcome to Riverwood. If you didn't hear me at the beginning, I'm Nate and I'm going to show you the inventory systems that I've been creating using Unity for Riverwood. Last week people in the comments were asking that if the items don't stack, does that mean you're going to have to keep returning to your farm to drop items off? The answer is yes and no, mainly no. The inventory systems in Riverwood, um, you're going to have multiple different inventories on top of each other and you're going to have different ways of carrying inventory around with you. You can kind of think of it as a little bit like Death Stranding in a weird way where Death Stranding you can carry different items on your shoulders on your back this is going to be limited a very simplistic version of that but everything is going to be in the real world and the items you pick up can only store in certain slots so to uh, show you what I mean you have a standard inventory that I've created which you would have in most games and the way the inventory works is if you look in the bottom corner we have the d-pad showing you what can be opened so you press right for the normal inventory for your backpack down for the tool inventory and left for the seed pouch I'll take you through the bag inventory first this is the bag inventory the way it works is if you hold right on the d-pad the bag inventory will open as you see there's nothing in the bag all the art at the moment is subject to change not subject to change it's definitely going to change it's just all placeholder stuff at the moment so yeah you hold it down if you let go it closes the inventory so if i go and pick up an item so this is a lump of soil i can press a and pull it in my backpack can pick up the apple press a pull it in my backpack and now if i press right i have two items in my inventory this inventory at the moment holds up to 12 items. It will be upgradable to about 36 slots. In the full game, you're gonna have someone in the town of Riverwood who is working in like a haberdashery, a cloth maker, who can upgrade your backpack for certain items or certain money costs, or uh, I'm not quite sure what the final currency is going to be, but you'll find out in future videos, I'm pretty sure. So back to the inventory. You hold down the right key and the inventory opens up. I can use the right stick to move around and if I hover over an item and let go of the D-pad, it will take that item back out of the backpack into the real world and I can drop it on the floor. Same with the apple, hover over it, let go, and you pull it out. So it's quite a fluid system. I wanted things to be pretty fluid so you can walk around and pick up items and take things out of your backpack very quickly without much trouble. So that's just the standard inventory. Um, inside your standard inventory, you will have two slots that will take stacker items. Stacker items are the items that will allow you to stack small items. So you can get a drink stacker where you get your cans of drink, you can put them into the stacker and then you can put that stacker into your backpack. You will be limited to how many stackers you can carry in your backpack, but then it turns one of your slots from a single slot into a six slot stacker. Um, you're gonna get multiple different stackers for different items. Stuff I haven't implemented yet, but stuff I've got in the design document that I think will be a really cool system. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, standard inventory. You also have a tool inventory, which is this is your little red toolbox. Um, if I pick up the shovel and I add that to my backpack, when I hold right in my standard inventory, nothing shows up, but I can hold down on my uh, D-pad to open the tool inventory and that will open up all of the tools you can store. At the beginning, you can only store four items. So if I add the watering can, you can see you can have the watering can and the shovel. Bags of fertilizer will also come under tools. Anything used for farming, hunting, doing anything tool based in the game will store in the tool inventory. So yeah, you can take items in and out the same way you do with any other item. Drop the uh, watering can back on the floor, take the shovel out and drop it back on the floor if I want to, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the tool inventory. The third inventory in the game is the seed inventory. This works a bit different. This is kind of like, um, a bit like Pokemon, I would say. I kind of got the inspiration from Pokemon where you're gonna have a seed inventory, which is gonna hold all of your seeds that you collect in game. So you're gonna have an item in the game called a seeder, and that's not a stellar seeder, that's like a something that de-seeds fruit for you. And every time you add a fruit in there, you're gonna get a certain amount of seeds added to your seed pouch. If you find new fruit out in the wild, you can bring that back to the seeder, pull it in the seeder, and then you've unlocked the seeds for that fruit. That's the way it's gonna work, kind of like Pokemon, like you're going to catch your Pokemon, but you're going out to scavenge for the different seeds that you can find, or the different fruits you can find, and veg you can find. So you can de-seed them to unlock all of the seeds in the game. 
I do want about 50 to 100 seeds. I do have a list of about 190 different items that I want to put in the game. But when it launches, there's probably going to be about 50 to 100 different seeds that you can scavenge and hunt for. And then once you've got the seeds, you'll be able to grow them. Uh, and the way the seed inventory works is exactly the same as all the other inventories. Once you've unlocked the seed, it will add it automatically to the seed inventory. So you have the seed packet, seed info, uh, and then the little clock in the bottom is showing you how many days it will take to grow that seed. So at the moment, I've only unlocked the apple seed, and when I hover over it, it says lovely apple seeds, and it changes the artwork to apple seeds, and then tells me it will take eight days to make this seed. So if I hover over the apple and let go of the D-pad, he will pull out his little seed pouch that he has, and I can walk over and plant apple seeds into the crop nice and simple so yeah that's pretty much the uh, apple seeds that's the, the separate inventory for your seeds press a and he will put them away and that's the seed inventory that's all i've really got to show you on that at the moment the last part of the inventory system is the crafted inventory so you have three different inventory systems on your body, which is the seeds, the tools, and the bag. We also have these boxes here that are an extension of your inventory. This is a simple wooden crate, and this is just a simple storage box that you can pick up and move around with you. So if you're going on a scavenge, you can take an extra 12 slots with you if you wanted. So you can take either four tools in your tool inventory, or if you wanted, you could take a fifth tool in your hand where you can't store it, but you can still carry it in your hands. Or you could um, take a box with you if you think you need to collect more items out on your scavenge. You're also going to have a vehicle that's going to load into the maps with you. So you'll be able to store up to six to nine different storage boxes on the back of your vehicle. That will be able to load on the map with you when you're going on a scavenge hunt. But that's something I'll show more of later. So yeah, back to the box inventory. We can carry the box around with us and put it down. And the same way the normal inventory works is we can take an item out of the inventory and if we hover over the box we get a nice little animation with the lid opening that shows us that we can put the item in the box. You might have seen this animation if you follow me on Instagram which if you don't at Riverwood Game on Instagram at Riverwood Game at Twitter. Um, so go and follow me because I do post daily there with updates on the game. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of this little animation because it's actually using vertex animation. So it's all done with shader graph and um, I'm animating it via code, not via the animating system, which makes it able to open with certain items. So if I put the, if I go to pick up the shovel, I can try and put the shovel in, but it will stay closed because I can't store a shovel in there. Um, but this, this box can store other items like soil, like the cans of drink, uh, you can't store any tools in there, so I can pick up the apple. And yeah, that's pretty much storage box. You can kick them around slowly. You can pick them up, move them around. So this is what I was saying, a little bit like Death Stranding where you can uh, have multiple different inventories, um, different stackers that you can put in your backpack and different inventories you can carry around. There is gonna be things like suitcases and briefcases and loads of different uh, storage containers that you'll be able to uh, use in the game so i can show you one more thing um let's put the shovel away when i walk up to the inventory box you can see the ui down the bottom uh, at the moment it's very rough but you can see a little box appear next to the bag that's kind of showing you that you are on the box inventory so if i'm not on the box i can open the bag inventory if i'm on the box and i press right on the d-pad it opens the box inventory so this is what's stored inside this box and I can go over here and see there's nothing stored in this box. So that's how you interact with the, the storage system in a box. It's all done on the same, we're using the same keys, nice and fast, nice and simple. Can take the item out of the box, pull it into this box, so, so. And you can see that if I pick up the box, I can't store it. I'm pressing A now, I can't store it in my backpack. It's a non-storage item. Same with this little thing here, which is a um, harvester, which you'll use to harvest your plants, to add your fruits to your kitchen with all your fruit and veg and everything in. But we'll show more for that later. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the inventory systems, how they work. Uh, like I say, there will be stackers. I'll show them off more this week on Instagram. So do go over to Instagram and follow me at Riverwood Game um, as I'm just finishing up the code for all of the stackers. But I will get them implemented very soon. So guys and girls, thanks for tuning into the video this week. Please leave in the comments down below if you know of any 
many games that have a similar inventory system to this. I'll be quite interested to find out. Uh, please smash that like button and the subscribe button and you can tune in for more Riverwood next week when I'll be doing devlog free farming and tools. See you next week, guys. Peace. That's pretty much it. You can take items in and out the same way that you do. Okay, that's not working.